25th July 2018. This one year old named Yuda cat. He fell down from the third story in the, in the apartment and uh, fractured his leg. And uh, today is day three. Day three after the fracture repair. Now, the cat still cannot stand up. See, he stand up. He still cannot stand up and walk. He put him on four legs. Okay, then I'm come this side. Never mind if you cannot stand, you just try and put him with a four leg. You uh, cannot bear weight now, you cannot bear weight, as you can see. He can walk three legged. So it's much better than, than day one. Day one you couldn't even stand up, okay? So this is this is uh, day three. So once he can really stand he will be home. Now I will show show the hematoma that there is uh, some swelling on the media side of the thigh. Now this is a very nice cat in C here. Now, what we are worried about is the swelling because there was a lot of bleeding. You see, the, the, the bone was fractured there. Point the finger at the, at the redness. Uh, the bone was fractured there. There is called the femur. Uh, the whole length go up to down the femur. Later you see the x-ray. Uh, okay, there is a femur and it was fractured. Huh? And so there's a lot of bleeding and bruising here as you can see. Okay, so the, the fracture is the distal one third femur and we will see the x-rays afterwards okay now the fracture has been repaired already using the pin so now we show the cat on day three after the, uh, the repair now you can see okay the pin will go through and come up from here the where the finger is zoom on to it yeah. now this pin joins the two fragments together and uh, you see from the x-ray uh, this, this is the end of the pin with the other side the other side would be the, the, the femur there, uh, the correct femur there, uh, so it goes down. And the uh, incision, of course, you, you have to open up the skin uh, about uh, maybe four inches so that you can see the, the two broken bone ends. And then you can insert the pin in one end, then go up to the, come out here, and then push back in again to the other fragment so that you can align them. You can see in the x-ray. Now the other one is just cuts from falling down. These are the cuts when the cat fell down the three stories. So this is nothing to do with the surgery, but the, the wounds are, are stitched up. Okay, so far so good, there's no infection. What's the, what's the weight when you come in? The 5 weight? 7. Sorry? 5.7. 5 what's the weight today? So we... 5.6. Uh, we, we see the cat is okay, it's making it a drip and uh, painkillers, that is the neurogesic patch there the patch there so that was that will control the pain so when I touch him, we didn't feel the pain and uh, the repair was about two days after he fell, fell off so there was a lot of blood bleeding so we did not pick up the bone fragments there were some bone fragments bone fragments there but uh, we, we didn't pick up See, not much pain because of the painkiller. Not much pain. You see the pain. And the color is okay. The color. It's hard to see here. But anyway, he's alright. Okay, so now we're going to look at the x ray. Okay. okay. The x ray of the surgery. Okay, so. This is the x-ray before when the cat fell down. Okay, it fell down, you can see the lateral view, really the, the thigh bone. Huh? Yeah. And there are small pieces here, the fragments. Huh? Now this is the kneecap. You can see this is one end and this is the other end. It was split, really uh, not a clean, mid, uh, clean transverse fracture, it's a spiral fracture. These are the bone fragments. Okay, so now you see the other angle, you see, it's been, so it's, there's a lot of bleeding and it's, you have to cut the skin and uh, you have to cut the skin about 4 inches, then you insert the pin in, pin goes up to the hip outside, then after you align this side to this side, the pin comes down the pin comes down and connects to this side so that the whole bone is aligned. So when the whole bone is aligned, as you can see here, so the pin comes down and 
this is the fracture area, more or less they are now aligned and of course the pin must be of the right size, not too small or too big, just fit it nicely and uh, this is where it comes out, so about 8 weeks this pin, this healing will be complete and this uh, pin will be taken out and the cat should be living a normal life now you can see there is a lot of hemorrhage bleeding and this bone fragment is quite deep in eh? so we, we don't want to cut in into the muscles and then go and look for this this will be absorbed this will be absorbed eh? by the body in time similarly with the other fragments there eh? small pieces here, small pieces here these are the broken pieces eh? so rather than go inside and, and, and trying to get it causing more trauma, more bleeding and possibly a more infection so we leave it as it is concentrate on pinning to align the two the distal third femur which is the fractured area and align it and normally with antibiotics and painkillers the cat should be, this is a young cat one year old should be uh, back to normal about 8 weeks later 8 weeks later, review every 2 weekly now this is a cat, young cat, you can see this is a kidney bladder, it's quite full the cat has been eating, as you can see the stools and uh, you can see the stomach, there's some food the liver, everything is okay eh? the cat is okay, it's a bit uh, on the fat side but then this cat is actually a male neutered cat and, and overall I would expect him to go home 7 days from today and uh, after that he will, he will rest for for uh, another eight, 7 to 8 weeks this, this, this side will heal we will heal together and, uh, and that's how we do the repair of fractured femur in the cat Okay, thank you, English.